heart valves are tissue or leaflets in your heart chambers. There's four different types. The main ones are the mitral, aortic, tricuspid, and pulmonary. And they're found in the left atrium, right left ventricle, and then right atrium and right ventricle, like as shown in the right with the diagram. There's also some support structures that hold uh, these tissue together. Then they're called the chordae tendinae, which are anchored by papillary muscles found in the ventricles, both left and right. And so when you look at these valves in particular, they're made of uh, specific uh, components, which give them their biomechanical properties, particularly collagen, elastin, and glycosaminoglycans, also known as GAGs. And so with all that together, you're, you're able to achieve specific biomechanical properties as shown in the right images with shear stresses, you can compute that. And then obviously it's subject to pulsatility and hemodynamics. So it has to interact with blood. It's a tissue that directly interfaces with the blood. So certain things that can go wrong with heart valves over time is that it wears down, but the main aspects of pathophysiology include stenosis and regurgitation. Those are the main categories. And you have these subcategories that can stem from these main categories, stenosis and regurgitation. Some of them include endocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart tissue because of bacterial infection, connective tissue disorders like Mailer's syndrome, and then there's rheumatic disease and calcification. Most of the time, it's the aortic and mitral valve that are most affected because they are on the left side of the heart and they pump blood to the systemic circuit. But it can affect pretty much any valve in the heart. And here's some diagrams that shows what can happen when you have a stenotic valve or a prolapse valve, which regurgitates. The current treatments um, include mechanical, bioprosthetic, and donor valves. Mechanical is a popular option because it uses these stents or these mechanical valves with, made of pyrolytic carbon. And so pyrolytic carbon is good particularly because it provides minimal clots. Since blood interacts directly with the heart valves, you don't want it to clot onto your tissue because that would uh, pretty much destroy the whole thing. Bioprosthetic heart valves, on the contrary, is tissue taken from either a porcine or a bovine organism. So in this case, it would be a pig or a cow. And they're good as well in terms of biomechanical properties. The difference between mechanical and bioprosthetic heart valves is that if you take a mechanical replacement, you usually have to take supplements in the form of warfarin or heparin to prevent clotting or thrombolytics. And donor valves taken from another donor. So this is a nice brief intro video that you guys can watch on your own time. But in particular, uh, one mechanical heart valve that's used popularly is the Abbott Regent Mechanical Heart Valve. And there's many designs that follow uh, this by Leafa design, which is the St. Jude design. So there's other mechanical heart valves prior to this, such as the ball and cage uh, design or a, a single leaflet design. So the by leaflet design, as shown in the image to the top right, right here, allows passage of blood uh, by the folding of two leaflets at top. And so these leaflets fold blood passes, and then it closes to prevent regurgitation. So let's get started. This is information on the specs that's available online publicly. And I'll just go ahead and switch over to SOLIDWORKS at this point. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new part.
it's not the fun part because at least the part I enjoy the most, which is just adding colors. So we have our scene and we added our appearance. Let's see how this would look like in a render studio. So we will click final render or we will click preview window. By the end of it, you want to save your render. So save image and you decide, okay, where you want to save it to, give it a nice name. So that was pretty much the end of it. I hope you guys learned some things and now you can go model a region mechanical heart valve. If some takes away from this is that you now learn how to use intersecting for bodies. You learn how to apply new reference geometries such as planes, axes. Uh, you learn how to use lots and you learn how to do sketches um, like with arcs and with lines and stuff. You also learn how to do add construction geometry. And more importantly, you learn how to add material properties. You learn how to edit materials or edit, and edit appearances and scenes and you learn how to render. So I think that you'll be ready for your toolbox.